Hey guys, it's Chris again with Affiliate Tube, and today I wanted to do another video. Um, there's been a new update to Vid Curator FX2 and a new demo that came out with it. And the previous Vid Curator FX2 video that I had uploaded um, was actually of the older version. So now that they have the new one up, I was going to do a full review and demo of the software for you, but um, they've already got a complete review made of Vid Curator FX2, how it works, and a full demo of making the videos. And this is an amazing tool to easily create hundreds or thousands of videos, uh, really without doing much at all, because um, the Vid Curator FX2 has um, its own stock inventory of photos. Um, it, it can also go out and search. Um, uh, the internet to find photos and stuff for you to use to automatically create these videos with and it does it all by just you entering a keyword so you go in you enter a keyword it's going to go out and find these photos it's going to put them together and it's going to create how many ever videos you want it to make for you and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, demo play of how it works and so you can see the full review of this software uh, if you're interested in it you can check out the bonuses that I have available on my website the links there on your screen it's also directly under this video just click on it anytime and it'll take you directly to my site and you can check out the bonuses we're offering that really complement vid curator FX2 and um, hopefully it'll really help you guys out and uh, also grow your business so here's the video Hey guys, I'm Bidu AD here. In this quick walkthrough, I'm going to show you uh, all the features of VidCareerFix2 and how this amazing, amazing web app works. Now, the first thing that you do is when you log into the VidCareerFX2 dashboard, you will see all the video campaigns that you've created, all the videos that are being rendering, uh, all the videos that are completed rendering, and all the videos that you've published on uh, Facebook, on YouTube, or other social media accounts. On this graph, you can actually see here all the videos that you have pushed to our Scivid app. Now with CreativeFX comes with the integration of Scivid that you can, uh, if you have access to Scivid, you can uh, publish your videos to hundreds of different uh, video sharing uh, websites and uh, social media accounts. And here you can see uh, the amount of videos that you are creating uh, on your monthly basis. Right over here, you can see all the videos that you have created, the resolution, uh, the quality, uh, what kind of transitions you've added, what's the status of the videos, whether they're being rendered or they are uh, completed or they're being published uh, and when they were completed, when they were created. And uh, right here, we've got some basic action. You can delete the video, you can push it to save it, you can download the file, you can publish the file on a different social media network. Now, there are essentially two ways to create videos using Scivid. Uh, creating a single video and creating hundreds of videos in one go. Now, for this demonstration, let me show you the first one. You click on the Create Video option, and this will take you to the page where you can uh, customize your video. Now, with your effects, finds uh, images and video clips based on your keywords and curates them all together, lets you customize the video and create them for you. For this demo purpose, let's uh, use a keyword um, kettlebells, let's say. Now make sure uh, we recommend using a single keyword and uh, it's always recommended that you use a broad keyword even if you don't find the best kind of images and video clips for your specific keyword you can always use a broader keyword. Now for this demonstration let's say we want uh, six images and uh, two video clips. You can select the source that you want to use them for Google from stock. Now if you select stock it'll find images from our library and uh, tons of other different libraries uh, that we have integrated in our uh, stock library and same for the videos you can use it from YouTube from Facebook uh, or from our stock uh, API that has been integrated now there are two options here you can either click on create video when you click on create video it'll go and find all the images six images and two video clips to use uh, to create a video around the kettlebells or you can use your own images when you click on here it'll start with a blank canvas and you can import your own videos uh, and images now let's click on the create videos. Now what with Curator FX2 will do is it'll go out there and find the uh, images around the uh, Calibad, video clips around Calibad, curate them all together and uh, present to you so you can customize them. All right, so we are on the uh, customization page where you can see we have found six images and two short video clips uh, for Calibad's and you can customize them as you want. Now here you can add uh, 
you can add your lower third you can type in a text whatever you want uh, let's say your link.com you can uh, you know change the color of the text as much as you like customize it um, increase the font size as you like a little bit uh, change the position from top bottom or you and you, you can put it center if you want um, you can change the background color keep it transparent as well if you want um, you can uh, change the font to whatever you want you can uh, you know customize it with tons of different font libraries uh, that we have with us and you can uh, do it for every single slide if you want uh, to have a unique text for every single slide you could do that as well or you could just uh, check mark this and it will apply to all the all the slides automatically you can add uh, the media if uh, you want to add another slide you can click open you can import your own media from here or use our library to access more media you can add uh, from tons of uh, transitions that we have here uh, just mouse over and you can preview them and you can just drag and add them here and it'll add the transition uh, same for the music you can add a lot of uh, music uh, background music from my library or uh, if you scroll up you can uh, hang on. okay if you scroll up, you can add uh, text to speech uh, choose from 50 different voices and languages we have uh, Japanese English Chinese simplified Arabic Portuguese uh, Spanish French German Hindi with uh, different accents that you can pick from uh, all you have to do is just uh, type in your text or copy paste it here give it a name and uh, click on play and it'll say if you click on the existing TTS it'll show you all the past recordings that you have done now same for filter we're adding more filters but uh, right now you can uh, you know just drop filter on the image and you know it'll add that specific filter to the image then uh, you can add an intro slide uh, have your own text in the intro slide uh, customize it as you want you can change the color and text uh, you can increase the font size uh, font family um, you can change the background color uh, or add an image if you want and you can also change the alignment of the text wherever you want it uh, same for the outro slide uh, you can add an outro slide just like this uh, and then we have this amazing new feature called credit outro with credit outro, what you can do is uh, once you add a credit outro slide what it'll do is it'll automatically find all the sources of all these images and video clips that you have selected and uh, it lets you uh, automatically display all the sources in one slide slide at the end right after the outro slide so it kind of gives the credit back to the original author of the image so that's how curation actually works you can also add your logo and uh, you can also add your watermark so if you add a logo that whatever image that you add and whatever location you select will be added exactly as it is uh, if you add the same logo as a watermark it'll be a bit transparent so you can add those as well and then when you click on export videos uh, you can give it a name you can select from uh, all these different uh, sizes you can create square videos uh, for Facebook if you want uh, you can create them in full HD or HD uh, same for regular size videos as well 4, 4 to 3 and 16 to 9 and 16 to 10 so there are plenty of options you can select the frame rate as well as which you want uh, do you want the video to loop like uh, if the last slide comes up you want it to repeat from the slide one again uh, how much time do you want per slide is it five seconds ten seconds or more and if you have the pro version uh, where you get the agency license to this you can assign this specific video to a client so whenever that client logs in uh, to the account that you have created for him you can he can see the video uh, and then when you click on create it'll go out there and start creating the video now same for the auto video creator as well you can see all the auto video creation campaigns that have been created or when you click on the create new video uh, it'll take you to the campaign setup page now it's fairly similar to the first uh, solo uh, video creation campaign all the only difference is that you can actually tell it how many videos you want to create so if I want to create uh, uh, 100 videos about weight loss diet uh, with you know all with three images uh, two video clips from you know all the sources like all I have to do and just customize all of these um, add an intro outro credit outro uh, logo music uh, text-to-speech voiceover recording whatever I want 
and click on export what it'll do it'll uh, create a campaign and start building 100 videos around uh, weight loss diet with unique images and video clips and uh, once those are done it'll give you a notification and uh, you can start downloading them or start sharing them on multiple different platforms now um, there's plenty of training and tutorials um, uh, inside the dashboard that you can find you can connect your Facebook and uh, you can connect your Dropbox and you can, can connect your YouTube accounts and start sharing those videos uh, their sharing videos is super easy once your video has been created all you have to do is click on this little icon on the dashboard and uh, you can share it to whatever accounts that you have connected for this demonstration uh, I have uh, one account which is a personal account that I've connected so if I enter a title description it will publish on the personal profile but you can publish it on YouTube you can publish it on uh, Facebook profiles pages and uh, groups as well so yeah that's uh, how uh, VidCurator FX2 works it's an amazing piece of technology it's super fast and it makes creating videos for your clients and for yourself and for your marketing super easy Cheers.